Hi guys, so the New York Academy of Sciences has now opened this year's application processes for their junior programs, both 1000 Girls, 1000 Futures and the Junior Academy of Sciences. So I want to share with you what the New York Academy of Sciences is because I believe not everyone knows what it is and it's a great institution and opportunity for every STEM lover. And I'm gonna give you some application tips for your programs if you finally decide to apply. The application process is closed July 31st of this year and if you'd like to apply, I'd be happy to know, so please tell me in the comments if you finally do it. I've been enrolled within your Academy of Sciences for two to three years right now, and it has totally changed my life. So I want you to have that ex experience too. And I have applied to two of their programs, STEM U and the New York Academy of Sciences. So I have a bit of expertise. Um, if you're a STEM lover, a science lover, anything related with science, you should definitely try to apply. And that's it. So let's well, So what's the New York Academy of Sciences? It's one of the oldest scientific institutions of the world, founded in 1817, about 200 years ago, that has always tried to support, encourage, and bring together scientists to solve the most important challenges of their times. Among the really important members through history, we can highlight Charles Darwin, Thomas Edison, and Margaret Mead. Right now, they have one of the biggest scientific communities around the world that may give you the key to really important contexts and works. And about their mission, I'm gonna be reading it because uh, I believe it's really important to understand the creation of the junior programs. So, the mission of the New York Academy of Sciences is to drive innovative solutions to society's challenges by advancing scientific research, education, and policy. Thanks to this aim, the education part, I think they have created the Junior Academy of Sciences and the programs of 1000 Girls, 1000 Futures, through which they are capable of educating tons and thousands of STEM lovers and children and teens that uh, really love science and would like to understand a little bit more about it. So through these programs, they have mentors that may tell you what's the way through science that have already walked the pathway and that may help you to walk it too. So let's now talk about the Junior Academy of Sciences. This one is a really cool program in which I'm currently in and the basic standard of the program is to compete. So you get to form groups with different STEM lovers around the world and solve challenges the New York Academy of Sciences posts. These challenges uh, target real life problems and are sponsored by really important companies such as Johnson & Johnson, UTC and Volvo. Their challenges take about two to six months. You have to submit different deliveries and you get a mentor just to help you with all of the scientific process. You're supposed to create a hypothesis, a method, develop and solve the challenge. Finally, if you win, you get to go to the GSA Summit invited by the New York Academy of Sciences with everything paid. And it's a really cool experience. It's a three-day summit in which you get to know all of the people you've been talking to through virtual media uh, in person and you get to receive different talks with really important scientists I went to last year and it was really, really amazing. Now let's get into 1000 Girls, 1000 Futures program. This one of course aims girls uh, in between 13 and 17 years trying to get us into the scientific pathway because through history and many cultures we don't have the same opportunities as men to get into science. It's a really cool program, you don't get to have challenges, instead you get to grow through science with the help of a mentor and of a community of STEM lovers. Uh, in this case you get to have different modules through the months, once again I think if you, if you win each month there is a winner. You get to go to the GSA Summit, invited by the New York Academy of Sciences. Um, your mentors are going to be uh, women, in, women in science, which I believe it's really cool. And that's it, you should definitely apply. So let's get to tips. So in order to get into this international, virtual and totally worth it programs, you need to know how to speak in English, that's first of all. And then I'm going to tell you that you need to show to the academy in your application process that you are unique. Now you're going to add something new to the academy. That you have time for the academy, so that you have a schedule for them to work with you. You have to show them that you are a team player, that you can communicate with others, create a group, be a team leader. 
And finally, but not least, you should show them the challenges you've overcome through your life and it make you an important subject or scientist for them. So now that we have covered those like basic principles, I'm gonna show you some of the questions and points they ask you and some of my answers just for you to guide yourselves a bit. So for my first program, which was STEMU, they asked me, explain why are you passionate about STEM? So first of all, you need, you need to make sure you show them that you know what STEM is, of course, and then show them what have you done throughout your life that makes you love STEM. For your answers, you should write them, or at least I did that way, and I got in, uh, as an essay. So I began with a really cute quote of Edward Teller saying the science of today is the technology of tomorrow to explain about STEM and just just make sure you make your point okay so you should extend yourself but make clear your point then another question I was asked for my first application was why do you want to be in STEM U? What will you get out of the program and what makes you a good candidate? So this is all about being unique, uh, as I already told you at the beginning. So show them uh, that you know the program, that you know why do you want to be in the program, that you know your limita limitations and the strengths, and show them that you really want to be in there because they'll, they'll understand it and they'll appreciate it. Then that was for STEMU. For the Junior Academy of Sciences, it's a longer application. They recommend to have a recommendation letter. So um, perhaps the teacher could write it for you. It's a, I believe it's a plus on your application process. So once again, the first question, and it's kind of a pattern uh, for this application process was, why do you want to be in this program? What will you get out of the program? What makes you a good candidate? Being unique? And knowing the program showing that you have searched about the program and you're sure about wanting to be there the second question was during challenges junior academy students are expected to dedicate three to four hours a week to their team and projects how do you plan to fit that time into your schedule this one is one of the basic principles for the application process show them you have time so my answers were quite if i'm gonna dedicate to the academy one hour per day or i'm gonna dedicate a straight four hours on the weekend but just make it clear make your point tell them um, i have the time and i want to do it um the third question is the junior academy is a collaborative community of students working to solve the world's greatest challenges please tell us how you would contribute to this community provide an example of when you recently worked on a team and you roll on the team. So once again, show that you are a team person, a team leader, and that you know how to be a part of a big group, that you understand that the important is not the individual, but the group. And I recommend you to take these answers into a global, but think local. So take all of those experiences you've had and think about them and push them forward into a global perspective for them to see that you have also an open mind and that you can get forward into scientific research and getting to know other people with totally different cultures. Finally, uh, please describe a challenge you faced recently. This could be academic or personal. How did you overcome this challenge? For this question, I talk about a national biology contest we had. I explained my role, I explained once again, I tried to make really clear the point of teamwork, how we were able to win thanks to the teamwork. And now finally, <laughs> describe a problem that exists in the world that you would like to solve. This could be local or global problem. Why do you want to solve them? Right here, I once again took the sentence this way, think global, act local. I reversed that order. And I talked about a local problem in my country, showed how science could solve it, showed that I know how science has um, solved other problems through history. You don't have to do it the same way. I'm just telling you how I did it. And that's it. So just to conclude, take 
those principles, the basic principles into account when applying. Make yourself unique, show that you are a team person, show that you have time and show all of the challenges you have ever faced. I believe that if you have these four points, you'll get into the academy. So just please tell me once again, if you get into the academy, it'd be nice to work with you if you do. And I hope you like this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm going to be uploading really interesting content. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video.